In this problem, we're told to suppose the space shuttle is in orbit 400 kilometers from the Earth's surface and circles the Earth about once every 90 minutes. Find the centripetal acceleration of the space shuttle in its orbit. Express your answer in terms of g, the gravitational acceleration at the Earth's surface. So let's go ahead and draw what's going on here. So imagine this right here is going to be our Earth. So here's our Earth, and we're going to have the space shuttle right here. And we know the distance from the space shuttle to the surface of the Earth, right? This distance right here is going to be 400 uh, 400 kilometers and so we know it's going to be orbiting around the earth in a circle this isn't a good circle but just imagine it's going to rotate around it in a circle so there's a few things that we have to know in order to solve this problem the first thing that we want to do is find this entire radius and so what they're trying to or the, what they want you to know is this distance right here from the outer the surface of the earth to the center is going to be 6,380 uh, kilometers so that's just something you have to know so 6,380 kilometers. And so if we're trying to find this whole radius here, uh, we know if we just add them up, we're going to get the whole radius. So 6,780 kilometers. And so keep in mind what we're trying to find here. We're trying to solve for a sub c. So we're trying to find the centripetal acceleration. And so the formula that we're going to use for this is uh, a sub c is equal to 4 pi squared times r over t squared. So this is the formula we're going to use. R is just the radius from your object to the center. So in this case, it's going to be 6,780 kilometers. Uh, T is going to be the time that it takes for one revolution. And then, yeah, that's what we're going to solve for. So you may have seen the formula uh, A sub C equals V squared over R. And so the reason we're using this one is because we're given a time. And it's much easier to solve for this one uh, if you're given a time, right? So we can use this one if uh, we're given the time for one revolution, which they do give us. So that's why we're using this formula right here. So uh, what we know is that it's going to take, uh, it's going to circle the Earth about once every 90 minutes. So it's going to take 90 minutes for it to go around once. And that's what t is going to be, right? So t is going to be equal to 90 minutes, right? The time for one revolution. But keep in mind, uh, when we solve this, what we want to do is have it in meters per second, because that's how we solve acceleration in meters per second, right? Because when they ask us to convert from or to g's what we need to do is have it in meters per second squared so what we want to do is convert this 90 minutes into seconds so we know that there's 90 minutes right there's going to be uh one minute for every 60 seconds so if we just multiply by 60 we're going to get it in seconds so if we do 60 times 90 it's going to be 5400 so 5400 seconds so it's going to be the time for one revolution uh, but keep in mind, now what we need to do is convert the radius, uh, 6,700 or 6,780 kilometers. We have to convert it to meters. And so we know that there's 1,000 meters for every one kilometer. So we just multiply by 1,000. So this is just going to become 6,780,000 uh, meters, right? Meters. So that's going to be our new radius. And so now what we do, uh, now we have to do is just plug it in, right? We have the radius. Uh, we have the time now and we can just plug it in and solve so a sub c the centripetal acceleration is going to be equal to 4 pi squared times r which is 6780 or 6,780,000 my bad uh, over your time right so the time squared is 5400 squared so this right here is going to give you your a sub c so if you go ahead and plug this in your calculator 4 pi squared uh, times 6,780,000 divided by uh, 5,400 squared, you're going to get that a sub c is equal to about 9.18. So 9.18, keep in mind the units, it's going to be in meters per second squared. So what we have to do now is convert it into, uh, we're expressing it in g's, so we have to convert this to g's. So the way you do that is just by taking your uh, acceleration or centripetal acceleration in meters per second squared and dividing it by 9.18 because there's 9.18 meters per second squared for every 1g. So just take your answer, 9.18, and go ahead and divide by 9.8. And so when you go ahead and do this, you're going to get it. It's going to be equal to about uh, 0.937 Gs, right? So 0.937 G. And so this right here is going to be your answer in terms of G. And hopefully you found this useful.